Seeing an African bird here at the refuge is a huge deal. It is a huge deal, a bird traveling across continents to southwest Florida. Experts are saying this could be the first bird of its type ever to be spotted in all of North America, in southwest Florida. I might have seen these pictures of this white pelican circulating on Facebook. It looks very similar to the American brown pelican that goes after the fish guts by your boat all the time. But experts have confirmed this bird is from Africa, long ways off, a rare occurrence. Four in your corner, Stephanie Tinoco out at Ding Darling National Wildlife Refuge on Sanibel earlier today. She joins us live in the studio now. Steph? Patrick, it's a busy time of year for the wildlife refuge, but this bird is attracting lots and lots of spectators. The bird was first spotted on Sunday by a refuge volunteer who actually captured a video of that pelican that's traveled more than 4,000 miles. At the heart of Sanibel lies birders paradise, Ding Darling Wild Refuge, the crown and jewel of the island. This is where birders are flocking to see a rare visitor. We, we drove thousands of, 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 of miles to get here, so you know we'd like to see the bird that's flying in thousands of miles as well. This is the rarest of the rare. It's the great white pelican. It is actually from Africa. The African pelican is a little bigger than the commonly seen white American pelican. Its wingspan is a little longer too and has a distinct yellow patch on its chest. Um, it's got these more plumes and tufts off the back of its head. This one is a female where it has kind of this bulbous. This bird is maybe the only bird, this type, that's been spotted in North America. So it's a huge deal to have it here. With binoculars in hand and cameras on standby, birders are hoping to get a snapshot. And after the gate opened, we had 100 people through the refuge in less than an hour, which is record numbers. Yeah, we're, we've been looking for it. We've been keeping our eyes peeled. So what brings its beak to town? People are asking, you know, where did it come from and why is it here? And, and we just don't know. We can speculate. Experts speculate this pelican may have stopped in South America before landing in this little piece of paradise. Seeing an African bird here at the refuge is a huge deal and you don't want to misidentify it. I couldn't imagine walking 4,000 miles somewhere and I guess that's kind of what birds do when they fly. To have it here right in our backyard, I think that's some of the coolest news uh, we, we could ever hear. Now, rangers at the refuge tell me the best way to spot this great white African pelican is to go during low tide and not be shy to ask someone with a spotting scope to help you find it. You can also get email alerts from a bird network with alerts anytime there are rare findings like this pelican. Live in the studio, Stephanie Tinoco, Fox 4, in your corner. All right, thank you, Stephanie.